So the header of this uh, state of open source databases sounds very pompous and that was allocated to me and I happily said yes, but I will concentrate on the subset of that that I believe I have some ideas about. So, so perhaps this is a bit more of a broader scope than, than what I will actually cover, but let's see. I think the open source databases nowadays provides with a completely new or incrementally new landscape. I think it's, it's a different constellation from what it used to be. Uh, I'll go through some of the ideas from MySQL because, hey, I, am, I have MySQL tattooed o over me in a, in a certain sense, but I also do want to, to uh, open up the mind and, and that the, the discussion for all the other databases since this is not a MySQL conference and I have a couple of ideas related to the uh, constellation between MySQL and Postgres which has for all the time that I've been using open source databases <coughs> being uh, the, the, the two main ones but that's the new thing in the landscape that it's not, not any longer about uh, advocating M or P it's about advocating whatever is the best solution for the moment, which involves many other databases. And I think Mongo, of course, I believe is the one most present at this conference, but there are others. So here is just a confession that do not expect me to have a 360 degree view of all databases because my background is very much my scale one. That said, I started off more. Uh, if you pick open source databases, more so with Postgres than with MySQL, because my first uh, role before joining <coughs> MySQL AB, we were developing solutions uh, with databases in general, and the first time we encountered open source databases, it was Postgres, and <coughs> that was in the company called Polycon, and we clearly thought that that would be much better than MySQL, and we would not never have picked MySQL at that point in time, had it been for Monty persuading us, us uh, personally and the argumentation he had at that point in time was very much the same that I think everybody else indirectly got to hear about which is related to uh, using MySQL as a test case right now only and let's see if it works for you and, and that way many people got stuck with it because it worked good enough for the situation. So. Uh, First, the, the Postgres Sardinia edition, the, the Elephant Tower Postgres here. Uh, I think that the first observations I had of my scale versus Postgres was of some animosity between the databases. Uh, it was not a mirrored relationship. Uh, one of the reasons being that my scale had one center, whereas uh, Postgres had, had, uh, had several ones. Uh, one other reason, probably being in the culture of, of Postgres, uh, perhaps being a bit belligerent towards MySQL and MySQL uh, themselves, those working for the company, having a set of, of guidelines about how to reply so that the uh, flame fests uh, on the web were usually not uh, poured gasoline into by both uh, sides, at least not by my scale itself. But uh, today, it's, it's the unheard of things have happened. So having the key uh, sponsor of the MySQL uh, conference being a Postgres company, that was something that, well, I would never have expected a while ago. And the first starting points of such a uh, relationship getting closer was probably when uh, the, one of the main sponsors of the Postgres project acquired MySQL, meaning that Postgres and some Postgres developers and MySQL developers got, got the same employer <coughs> in Sun. Okay, we do not have a hugely big audience here, but still I'm interested in a couple of how many of you questions. So, uh, the first how many of you question is, how many of you mostly work with MySQL as their prime open source database? Okay. And so, so there wouldn't be too many others here. How many would uh, work with Postgres as their primary open source database? 
so I saw three, three hands. Okay, and uh, now we zero those numbers, uh, and I ask a different question where you can raise your hand again. How many sometimes used during the last, shall we say, 12 months have worked on a system, uh, on at least one system with MySQL and at least one with Postgres? So, sort of both. Okay, and that's a, that's a sizable group. It's, I think it's half. So, uh, then for the others, what about anybody using MongoDB in their, uh, in the last 12 months? There's, okay, three. And what other databases should I ask about? Because there's a huge list of them. Everybody is using SQLite, even if you don't know it. Yes, everybody's using SQLite, but uh, how many of you know or have consciously used SQLite, not, not indirectly? Good, okay, that's also hard. If you mess up Apple, they often don't know. If you mess up Apple, yes, I, I've also used it for Lightroom, so I should have raised my hand as well. Cassandra. Okay, Cassandra. Okay, that was five hands. Any other votes here? Probably Memcached D is popular as well. If we can't, who, who, who mentions Memcached D or who raises the hand for Memcached D? Good, good. So, uh, my conclusion in my, uh, here is that it's a complicated landscape. It's no longer as easy as it used to be. Uh, the, the, the constellation was one of picking more or less one database, but we see here that you do pick several databases also in the situation where Apple doesn't force one upon you. That's the joke. Okay, so let's go back to the good old days, or not good old days, but old days. The old days, uh, just to, to, to get some perspective on this, the, the MySQL background here, uh, which, which has colored many of us, uh, is, is one where it started from not even being an open source database. It was a, a movement with their own uh, very complicated license. It became an open source database in 2000 following the GPL and it became a company in 2001. Those observations also characterize any other database, like the ones that we have raised our hands for. Uh, what's the license, what's the kind of movement, and what's the commercial support behind them, or the commercial entities behind it. Uh, that's, I think, the, the, the glasses through which we should see open source databases, all, all of them. Uh, from a product perspective, every product has some kind of a set of core values. I am not uh, the one to be able to state those core values for all of the open source databases now mentioned today. But I think that's the, the, uh, that's the task for somebody to write a blog about, where I would say that the core, core values of MySQL has always been stability, performance, and ease of use. They have had different uh, incarnations over the years. There was a time when, when uh, MySQL used to say we hate bugs. Now it's we hate bugs, sort of. Uh, performance has, has, I think, been a red thread through it all. Uh, I hear pointed out uh, an old C bit where an even older computer than that was running MySQL just to prove it. And the ease of use part with the 15 minute rule has always been highly, highly important for. Uh, the development of, of MySQL itself. And let us not forget that the, in, the choice of license influences many, many other things uh, of how the community works and how the commercial entities work. So, and then also the, the background in the form of what was the environment in which the database grow, grew, and this is a different one for every database. In the case of MySQL, it's, it's the LAMP stack that, that made it big, although of course it works with plenty of other constellations as well, but uh, people think of MySQL as a component in the LAMP stack, and that's also the one that influenced how MySQL grew. Then, what's the role of the community for any particular product? Now, the community, uh, community is a word just like support, where everybody gives a different meaning for it. Uh, do you support X? For some people it might be, we provide binaries for it. For others it might be, we provide answers to your support questions. There are plenty of other things that, that it can 
mean, but in the case of community, it is as bad. So what's the kind of community that the product has? It, it, it's dependent upon the product. And I think the blog entry comparing the uh, open source databases should address the role of the community, which in the case of MySQL is mostly for brand recognition and use of X. So MySQL's community is the one that knows about MySQL and uses it. And in that sense, it's like Linux. The second most important part of uh, role for the community from the perspective of the entity behind the product is that it provides quality assurance, which is also like Linux. Uh, in the case of, of MySQL, having one uh, entity owning the trademark, that entity also uses uh, the community as its recruitment base. Now it's the recruitment base for many companies. Uh, in that sense, well, you could say that today it is like Linux. Earlier it used to be different because there was no Linux Inc. or Linux AB, no single company. But the area in which MySQL has been totally different from Linux and from Postgres and from many other databases is the small role of code contributions, which is nothing that the company would be proud of, nor, nor me myself who wanted to change that, that bit. I think it's a hard thing to change when the project gets off in a certain direction and, and the, the company imposes a, a number of rules based on commercial reasoning. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's only uh, it's a, an equation which is hard to change uh, over time uh, when, when structures have, have set out in, in, in a particular direction. And also this might be changing because of the role of having several distributions of my scale with different names these days. So I can't uh, uh, have this presentation without having a few uh, fun little or supposedly fun little pictures. This I suppose is already known by many of you with a database company founder David Axmark in his boat uh, next to a boat of another database company founder who happened to have his boat in Stockholm at, at uh, some point in time recently. So that's, that's sort of a symbol of the growth of MySQL as a company and its, its, its attitude in commercial uh, situations. Well, 15 minutes is not a long time, so there would be a couple of other points to make here. Um, and now I, I have to confess this is not about open, open, database, open source databases in general. I think it's about solely about MySQL, but I think that also influences what the other databases can do. So uh, the obvious thing that has happened is that MySQL has gone from a movement to a commercial company funded by, by venture capital, capital uh, that then was bought by one company who had a previous track record of contributing a lot to open source, who then was acquired by another company who did not have that track record and who have seen for other products uh, a certain amount of, of friction. So uh, the question would be, what still is the same? And, and there I'm, I'm quoting, well, this is a thing that only silly people do, but, uh, so I qualify as silly, quoting myself. I'm, I'm looking back at the date of 21st of April 2009, which was the date when the acquisition of Sun uh, through Oracle was announced, uh, where I was quick to, to blog before in that there was any decree, decree saying thou shalt not blog. Uh, and I blogged about what hasn't changed. The, the three, four top entries of that still, is, still are to a huge degree relevant. There still is a huge base of MySQL users who have economic interests that are independent of whoever happens to own MySQL for the day. Uh, the second conclusion, there still is a huge talent pool of MySQL experts in support, consulting, training, engineering, and uh, other parts of Sun. I said there, well, Sun wouldn't exist, and not all of them would be uh, in, in uh, the successor of Sun today. 
But it's important to note that for the end users and the user base of, of MySQL that these people have a strong loyalty towards the users that they have served over many years. The third conclusion I think is, is highly important, uh, or third observation of, of what hasn't changed. MySQL is still licensed under the GPL and the, the, the founding fathers of the GPL were smart uh, in creating it. Uh, how can you envision <coughs> the future with services instead of distributing software? Uh, that one didn't uh, take it into, take it into account in GPL version 2. But in all other respects, the GPL still continues <coughs> to be a safety net for whoever is worried about whether to use a particular uh, piece of software or not. I remember 10 years back when, when giving presentations about MySQL, wearing a MySQL AB hat, uh, there was a certain doubt in the audience about uh, whether it's a smart thing to uh, use a database created by a small company somewhere up, up in, was it Sweden or Finland or wherever. Um, can you trust it? Can you, what happens if that company goes bankrupt? Well, guess what? The uh, software exists as GPL, and even if it goes bankrupt, it's out there for you to use. Uh, and by the way, we have no way of going, uh, uh, we have no in, uh, intention of going back bankrupt, was my, my statement. And I think the same thing applies in a different fashion uh, when you're, you might have other worries about the intentions of the owner of a uh, piece of software. It's a safety net, and uh, we have now also seen some of the tendencies towards, towards forks happening out there. So, yes, there are other things to note here as well about uh, the commitment to the EU over MySQL, which, which does influence the way in which MySQL is being treated. Those are highly political things, but we have to understand that these political things do influence technology in a very practical way. Manner. So seeing MySQL 5.6 out there getting released, uh, we have no way of knowing whether that would have happened without this kind of a, of a commitment or not. And I'm very happy that it has happened and that we do continue to see further development of MySQL also uh, from the entity now owning it. So people might have some Worries about the future, will bugs be fixed? Well, were they fixed always up until now? Will there be more closed source extensions? Will there be forking between the different uh, editions of MySQL? Uh, there are details to be worried about, and I think those are things that we, as the open source people, are set out to, to observe in particular detail with some uh, attention. But, as I said so far, Things have gone fairly well. Uh, my next to last slide, I believe this is, uh, is uh, a picture of, not a picture, but, but a listing of the players in the MySQL ecosystem, where uh, the starting point is those working for Oracle, <coughs> then a set of ex-employees who, who uh, quit at some point in time, fairly early on, or uh, starting from early on and ending, ending uh, or continuing as this uh, day goes on. Uh, a set of long-term near ex-employees with companies who have had a close relationship with MySQL for a very long time and, and appearing at, at conferences, being tightly associated with MySQL despite not having worked for the company. Uh, then we have a set of top community customers, which is something I think is fairly peculiar to MySQL, with uh, key customers influencing the community in detail. So customers in some sense, because there is some kind of a community, uh, some kind of a commercial relationship, and also these are for-profit companies, but they, they are central to the opinions inside the community and central to also the technical development. And then there's a set of community partners uh, who, it's bordering on the near ex employees, but it's a set of technical contributors who, uh, in a some 
some kind of a plug-in fashion works together with the, the product. And then there's, I listed last year, SkyScale, and on the same line, although slightly different, Monty Program, being companies having a very huge share of former MySQL AB employees, uh, either putting their efforts into services and alliances around the uh, MySQL database, or continuing the development of it in, in various uh, directions. So, what's missing here? The cloud. Well, there are cloud databases. Uh, we did not go into those here, but I believe that clouds will be much more inside than here from this, this tower, and, and that these clouds will exist on the sky also of, of Postgres and, and MySQL. So I think we now are seeing in the open source database landscape some new openings happening with, I'd say, more confusion than before, but from this confusion we will see uh, more clarity appearing as the dust settles. And the confusion perhaps is, is a too strong word, but what I refer to with that is that you do not any uh, as much as earlier focus on one database only. <coughs> We saw hands being raised for many databases and many databases being combined and, and more of us understanding that one database doesn't solve every single need but that you need to have a combination of them in order to make the most out of the open source databases out. Thank you.